was, but tell me, it's always disappointing, isn't it, when it ends 4-1, but what are your thoughts on the way it, it uh, worked out eventually? Yeah, well, I think now the obviously series has come to an end. Um, you know, I don't give too much away, obviously, whilst the series is going on. Um, but you know, since the since the first Test match of the series, you know, it's, it's you know we're man enough and we're big enough to say that we've been outplayed by the better team on the series. Um, but look, as well, uh, I think now with me and who I am and, and how I look at things, you know, we've got so much cricket coming up in our summer and then Pakistan and New Zealand and, you know, taking the, the positives that we've got from the series um, is something that I'm really looking forward to and excited to, to be a part of and driving this team um, even further forward. The consistency factor was something we were, we were talking about, the fact that some people got big scores but not a lot in between. Was that something that, that worried you? No, not necessarily worried me. Um, I think when you look at the game a whole and the series as a whole, you know, there's been really sort of small moments throughout every test match where we sort of wrestled a bit of momentum back towards us but we've not just been able to, to maintain and, and keep that going and I think in, in test match cricket especially out here where the game can turn really fast on you it, it's about understanding that and, and trying to um, you know understand those moments and being a bit more relentless with it um, how that looks I'm not sure but you know we're all here at the highest level playing cricket and I think we all know as individuals that that's probably where it's gone wrong for us on more than one occasion There's something else I'd love to get your views on you mentioned to me in Hyderabad after that first test that your style is to give people freedom to play in the manner that comes that comes best to them. Wanted to get your thoughts on defending in, in phases, sometimes when it's going against you. We saw the approach was constantly to attack. So what are your thoughts on that? It's something we were discussing up in the commentary box. Yeah, I think you look at sort of, you know, when India get on top, especially with the ball, you see a lot of men come around the bat. Um, and, you know, when you've got the quality bowlers that they do, Ashwin, Jadeja, Kuldeep, who, you know, obviously, and rightly so, are quality performers out here. Uh, you, I feel you've got to find ways of getting the, the guys around the bat out of there. Um, and sometimes that comes of risk. Um, risk doesn't always pay off, but, you know, you get a couple of sweeps away and then you find yourself, you've only got one man around the bat. And, you know, you've just got to, to be positive enough to be able to take that risk and know that there sometimes it can be a downfall. Um, but yeah, it's just sort of, it's one of those things where, where you can look at and say, could I have done something better? But when the intent and the, the sort of application is there with, with the real reason as to why you're playing that shot, then you can't really hold your hands up and, and say too much else. You got the best out of two young spinners. What were your positives for England from this series? Um, well, yeah, there's, there's a few. I think Zach Crawley and Ben Duckett continuing their formidable partnership at the top. I think that's only going to get stronger and stronger for us. Um, again, Shoei Bashir and Tom Hartley coming in and showing what they're about. We found um, some real quality, you know, uh, cricket is there for the future. Um, you know, I think Bash, you know, obviously he's sick as a dog at the start of this test match. And for him to put that performance in and then come away again with five wickets is great. Tom Hartley, I think, has been exceptional throughout the whole series. Sinjo Roo coming to some really good form at the back end. So that's exciting for the summer. And from a personal point, it was, it was great to be back out on the field bowling and, and getting myself back into the game again. I know we're going to ask you who writes your script, but I'll just keep you one question longer. I can't let you go without talking about wicket number 700 for Jimmy Anderson. Yeah, let oh, him get his round of applause here. <laughs> Um, yeah, amazing to be on the field. I've been lucky enough to be on the field with some of the, the lands there, uh, the sort of you know milestones that Jimmy's got to. But being there for 700 wickets as a seamer is, is quite phenomenal. And I've said many a times that you know.